You guys, I am back um, with another Amber Lynn Reed react. Um, I, I just gotta say that I opened up this video and I tried to record it and I had to stop. Um, I've had to have some willpower to film this. Uh, apparently it's highly requested, like all of our other videos. Makes no sense. Um, so yeah, without any further delay, uh, we'll start the video. Just, I might stop in the middle and then regroup and then film a little later on because uh, my little schedule here. And the lighting might be crappy because I have really crappy lighting in my room. Anyways, let's get started. Hey guys. Hey okay, guys. so I had someone tweet me, actually, I have a lot of people asking me, so what's your personality Naya. type? What's your personality type? And I'm just like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, I literally don't know what you're talking you about. I'm a little crazy, a little wild, you know. But there's an actual, like, thing. I've seen letters. People are like, NJ something or other. I don't even know. But recently someone tweeted me and they were like, you should take the personality test and figure out which, like, personality you are. And I'm just like, huh? So I sent out another tweet and I was like, you know, what's the link to it? I got it. Oh, oh. So I doubt it. She always says, of course, it's highly requested. Um, and if it was, of course, you know, your girl with her blocking sagas, uh, she also deletes her tweets too. So I'm going to go with she's a lie. People have taken this test to figure out what their personality type is, but there was someone, one person, a Debbie Downer, as per always, yeah. who said, what's the point of taking the test? Because a lot of people are going to be hypocrites and just want to answer the questions, how they wish that their personality was. And I'm just like, why would I sit here and take a full-fledged test if I was just going to fake it? So then the same person said, well, how about you have someone else take the test for you about yourself? So if you guys want to see a part two, I might actually have Becky just no, take the I test don't want for to see me, a part two. answer how she thinks I am as a person, and see if we come up with the same thing. Because I do believe that people see you differently than you see yourself, and I think that goes for everybody. But I also feel like you know yourself more than anyone else knows you. So, so we're going to take the test. It says it's going to take okay. less than 12 minutes. This is 16personalities.com. I feel like I probably have all 16 personalities. Let's be real. So on here it That's says it's fast and easy, takes less than 12 minutes. Be yourself, answer honestly, even if you don't like the answer. That's scary. And then it says complete it all. Try not to leave any neutral answers. <laughs> I'm actually kind of freaking out about this. Okay, let's do it though. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I don't know. I don't want my personality to be any sort of way, so there's definitely gonna be no bias. I'm just gonna answer completely honestly. These questions have a bunch of bubbles where you can put no. either agree oh or disagree, gosh. and you get to choose where within the little bubbles you get to put the answer. So, here we go. You enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people. Um, Lies. Honestly, I have changed a lot in the past. I'm going to go over towards a little bit closer to disagree. No, it's like a total because disagree. Because I have some major social anxiety as of late so of course you often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas i i guess i would say that's i'm a, a little no. bit more on the agree side on no that. no that's a lie more likely to look like a rough list of ideas than a detailed itinerary honestly that's disagree i am very i have crazy obsessive i like to be planned I think a lot of people in my life know that, so I like everything to be planned. Yeah. And it's kind of annoying. Maybe your channel, um, that cycle that you, you go often through. think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it has taken place. I'm going to go with a little bit towards the agree. If your friend is sad about something, your first instinct is to support them emotionally, not try to solve their problem. Oh, that's hard because I try to do both of those things because I feel like I can give really good advice. Lies. Advice. I'm honestly going to go with agree, though, because sometimes I feel like it's just easier to support them emotionally. People can rarely... You see that eye roll there? You see that eye roll there? It means that... Yeah. 
she doesn't care about how her friend's feelings, I mean, how her, you know what I say. <laughs> Disagree. You often rely on other people to be the ones to start a conversation and keep it going. I'm going to say agree with that one. If you have to temporarily put your plans on hold, you make sure it is your top priority to get back on track as soon as possible. No. I'm honestly going to go towards the... <laughs> A little bit towards disagree. No, that's really totally. If you made a good impression on someone you met, that's a disagree. I always, I'm, I worry about everything. I worry about what people think of me. It's a bad. Of course, she does. Um, look at her. She says she can take constructive criticism, but what does she do? She she blocks people for the smallest thing. So. Yeah. It would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself without feeling bored. See, She'd binge. I have a lot of YouTube videos I can watch, a lot of Netflix, a lot of all that. She mm -hmm. watches Nikocado Avocado and binges. The whole weekend. I'm going to go a little bit towards disagree because I feel like eventually I'm going to be like, I need Becky. <laughs> You're more of a detail oriented than a big picture person. I feel like that might be a neutral for me because I like details, but I also like to see the bigger picture of things. So I'm going to have to the say grand neutral. scheme of things. You're very affectionate with people you care about. I am going to have to go towards the agree. Disagree. I think all of these are like this. You are so rude to so. your, your you friends. Lies. methodical approach to life. I'm going to go closer towards disagree. Probably actually all the way disagree. You are still bothered by the mistakes you made a long time ago. I'm gonna go closer towards the agree. At parties and similar, I'm trying to like. What about Casey? Pictures. This video is like too dreadful. At parties and similar events, you can mostly be found farther away from the action. I'm gonna go with agree. Closer to disagree. No. I'm gonna disagree completely because at a party, although I do get anxious and stuff, if like a game is going on some dancing i like to either be watching or enjoying it as well so from afar definitely where the action is <laughs> you often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them i'm gonna go with completely disagree wait yeah disagree because i'm the same way so i relate to people like that when looking for a movie to watch you can spend ages browsing the catalog i almost just asked becky how i should answer this so if there is going to be a part two, it's going to be... She's already taken this test. I feel like when I choose a movie, it does take me a little bit longer. So I'm going to go closer towards the agree. Because our girl is slow. Stay calm under pressure. Honestly, it depends on the situation. But a lot of the time, I feel like I can be that person that is like, calm down. Let's take a deep breath. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm going to go a little completely. bit towards agree. Not much. <laughs> when in a group of people you do not know, you have no problem jumping right into the conversation. I'm going to go a little bit towards... Actually, disagree completely. When you sleep, your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastical. Completely disagree. I barely remember my dreams, but when I do, they're rather boring. Because you're a boring girl. In your opinion, it is sometimes okay to step on others to get ahead in life. I don't think it's okay to She step needs to agree with that because that's what she does. You should be allowed to like not be selfish but think for yourself and do things for you but when they say okay to step on others that sounds kind of like disrespectful so i'm gonna go with i feel like a bad person i am on the disagree side but not the full disagree you are dedicated and focused on your goals, only rarely getting sidetracked. Uh, <laughs> That's a funny one. Um, she is totally sidetracked and her goals are never reachable. She sets them too high. Ugh. Ugh. Hate this. I hate this video already. If you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself, your abilities or your knowledge. Completely agree. When at a wow. social event, you really try to introduce yourself to new people, mostly talk to the ones you already know, I completely agree, because I'm freaking awkward, you guys. You usually lose interest in a discussion when it gets philosophical. Yes. <laughs> um, you usually lose interest in it. 
I'm going to yes. say a little bit towards disagree. No, no. You would never let yourself cry in front of others. Disagree. Uh, I cry in front of others. Lies. Lies. You can't control when you cry. Like, Lies. I know I can't. I, I try to hold in tears all the time. I mean, sometimes I'm successful, but... Why does crying have to mean that you're weak? You feel more drawn to places with a bustling and busy atmosphere than to more quiet and intimate ones. I'm going to have to agree with that because I prefer city life. Or at least I think I do. <laughs> you like discussing different views and theories on what the world could look like in the future. Um, I'm going to go with a little bit towards agree. I do enjoy talking about that. When it comes to making life changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your, rather than your head. I'm going to go with no. disagree on that one. She you does not listen to yourself anything. Dedicating your life to the study of something that you cannot see, touch, or experience. God, oh, this is boring. I guess I'm going to agree with that one. You usually prefer to get your revenge rather than forgive. I'm going to slightly disagree with that one because I do feel like I forgive a eh. lot. Actually, no. I disagree a little bit more than I thought because I do forgive a lot it's sure like, no what you do to me i will forgive you lies you often make decisions on a whim yes i am going to say that i slightly agree with that the time you spend by yourself often ends up being more interesting and satisfying than the time because she binges people. i'm gonna say i disagree you often put special efforts into interpreting the real meaning or the message of a song or a movie I'm going to say I slightly agree mm. with that. You always know exactly what you want. <sighs> Honestly, I am going to say neutral on that one. That's the second neutral I've done. You really think back on the choices you made and wonder what you could have done differently. I want to say I agree with no, you. No, she doesn't. When in a public place, no, you don't. It's in quieter and less crowded areas. I'm going to say I completely agree with that. That's part of my new personality because I used to never be like that. You tend to focus on present realities rather than future possibilities. I'm going to have to say I agree. I agree with that. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Um, I used to be rather very understanding, but I feel like the older I get, again, I think I'm lies. losing that touch. So I'm going to say I slightly agree. When starting to work on a project, you project you prefer to make as many decisions up front as possible i guess slightly agree no when you know someone thinks highly of you you also wonder how long it will be until they become disappointed in you oh very I quickly agree very quickly 100 percent. you feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation yeah, completely disagree with that oh my gosh <laughs> No, maybe in high school I was like that. I don't know. You often drift away into daydreaming about various ideas or scenarios. Yes. No, disagree. Yes. You look after yourself first and others come second. I'm going to say I she slightly comes first. disagree with that. Of course. I feel like I try to be as selfless as possible. Even nice. when you have planned a particular daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you feel at any given moment. That's it. I completely disagree. Every single yeah, night. Yeah, she agrees. Actually, she even brought it up on the screen. It. Every single night, I will write down everything that I'm going to do the next day. I'll write it in order. You know, I'll make it pretty looking. I'll write in cursive sometimes because I feel like that just makes it more fancy. I wake up and I don't do any of it. <laughs> so, your mood can change very quickly. Yes, highly agree with that. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. Yes. Highly agree with that one as well. You often talk about your own feelings and emotions. Yes, all the time. Or at least I try to. Yeah, she always breaks down and lies. You have got detailed education or career development plans stretching several several years into the future. Nope, disagree. You nope. rarely dwell on your regrets. I'm going to say I, I disagree a little bit. I disagree a little bit. Spending time in a dynamic atmosphere with lots of people around quickly makes you feel drained and in need of a getaway. I'm going to say I slightly agree with that one. But you're not going to. More of a realistic Our girl can't fit in a car. So she says, but everybody keeps saying that they caught her on Snapchat in the car when she was supposedly swollen. Freaking liar. And a visionary. 
I do agree with that. I'm very realistic. You find it easy to empathize with a person who has gone through something you never have. Yes, I do. I, I am that way. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than to organized and consistent efforts. 100% agree with that. I wish I was a little bit more consistent. Your emotions control you more than you control them. I'm going to say I agree. After a long and exhausting week, a fun party is just what you need. Long and exhausting weeks? What does she do all day? Oh, well, well, we already know that. She sits in her ass all day and eats. I'm gonna say I slightly disagree with that. You frequently find yourself wondering how technological, technological, you frequently find yourself wondering how tech, technological, I can't say it. I can't say the word, advancement could change everyday life. I'm going to say I slightly agree with that. You always consider how your actions might affect other people before doing something. I'm yeah, going to say, doesn't. as sad as this is, I'm going to slightly disagree with that. You still honor the commitments you have made, even if you have a change of heart. No. No. Honestly, no. I'm going to disagree no. with that. No, you don't. You rarely feel insecure. Disagree with that. She feels insecure all the I'm time. An insecure, I'm an insecure mess. Oh shoot, this is done. Oh my god. Oh my it's gosh. Your personality type is adventure. Yeah. That's I a laugh. Guess. Adventure? You're you're not an adventurer. Oh my gosh. That's totally wrong. Ugh. Yeah. F P slash T. What is that? What? I don't know, because I'm not going to take that stupid okay, personality so test. It says, mind, this trait determines how we interact with our environment. I'm 32% extroverted and 68% introverted. It's wrong. Energy, this trait shows where we direct it's 100 our 100% introverted. I am 41% intuitive and 59% observant. That's interesting. Nature, this trait determines how we make decisions and cope with emotions. 28% thinking and 72% feeling. <sighs> Tactics, this trait reflects our approach to work, planning, and decision making. 24% judging, 76% no, prospecting. And then the last one is identity. This trait underpins all others, showing how confident we are in our abilities and decisions. Yeah. I'm 18% assertive and 82% turbulent. Uh, yeah. Whatever that means. This okay, is so all this wrong. This says about my personality type as an adventurer. I didn't know. Like, I'm an adventurer? What? Adventurer personalities are true artists. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but not necessarily in the typical sense where they're out painting happy little trees. Often enough, though, they're perfectly capable of this. Rather, it's that they use aesthetics, design, and even their choices and actions to push the limits of social convention. I'm seeing this now. I really think, okay, this is cool. She's reading it and she's telling herself to believe it while she's reading it. She is delusional. Enjoy upsetting, upsetting, oh. Traditional expectations with experiments in beauty and behavior. Chances are they've expressed more than once the phrase, don't box me in. <gasps> this is so true. I literally have a poem that I have sh I've shared on. Our girls are poet. Poet. Ah. Or when I was doing a YouTube live stream, it's literally called Box. And it's about that. It's literally about that. This is a lot. I'm sure you guys don't want me to read all this out loud. So I'm just going to read it real closely oh and then okay. tell you guys. I don't know if I can it. do it. Oh, it says that adventurers are definitely introverts, which is crazy to me because I used to be an extrovert 100%. Lies. And I've noticed that as I've gotten older, I am definitely more introverted. So, so far this is right. And then it says surprising their friends further when they step out of the spotlight to be themselves and to recharge. Totally relatable. Oh my god, this is literally me. Because right here it says, just because they are alone doesn't mean people with the adventurer personality type sit idle. They take this time for introspection, assessing their principles. Rather than dwelling on the past or the future, <sighs> adventurers think about who they are. They return from their cloister transformed. I really feel like that's me. I'm not just being biased. 
Ooh. It says riskier behavior, behaviors like gambling are common with this personality type than with others. I have recently, I don't want to admit this, I don't even feel like anyone has watched this far in this video, so maybe not a, lot, not a lot of people know this. There was this app, I'm so glad I don't play it anymore, but a few months ago, I spent thousands, not exaggerating, thousands of dollars on this app. Of course, our girl wastes money. And that's considered gambling, so... So stop spending all that damn money on your stupid torrid hauls where you'll never be able to fit in those clothes. And maybe we should take away your phone from you because you could have spent thousands of dollars on surgery or clinical help. You spend it on games and clothes instead. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is almost over. I've never actually been real gambling, like at a casino. Maybe I should never go. Oh, this is literally me right here. It says, adventurers always know just the compliment to soften a heart that's getting ready to call their risks, irresponsible or reckless. Oh my God, this is so fun. I love this. Oh God, this is a lot. I can't sit here and read all this to y'all, but this is a lot. What, romantic relationships? Oh God. Don't oh, bore us. Like, oh, no. Man. Don't I'm even. I'm serious and difficult to get to know. I'm emotional. I have a guard. I love this. I'm living. Things are unlikely to grow stale. Even the longest term partners can be surprised by the secrets adventurers keep. Maybe I should end on that note. Yeah. Thank you. Really Holy fun. gosh. That was so like boring. A part two would be rather interesting to see how no. someone else sees me because I felt like that tweet really, it made a lot of sense um, because okay. some people are biased in their answers and I tried 100% not to do that. So yeah, that was really fun and there's so much I can sit here and you can look at your strengths and weaknesses, friendships, romantic relationships, parenthood, career paths, workplace habits, conclusion, like just so much stuff. So that was super fun. Again, 16personalities.com if you want to take the test. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys. It's over. Oh my gosh. Okay, of course my camera cuts out. Uh, anyways. So what I was going to say, I feel like she's trying to sidetrack us um and postponing the weigh-in and all the other drama and putting this filler shit in the whatever to make some coin anyways so i really don't have anything more to say other than i hope you guys have a great memorial day weekend have um barbecues and good food um Oh, and I'm trying to be more active on Twitter, so you should follow me, and I'll put my um, links below. Uh, hit that like button, tap that subscribe button, click that notification bell, comment below, and you guys have a great weekend. Bye!